Oh, what? This is going to be fun. Okay. Yep. Let me see how I want to set this up. Y'all, let me see how I can set this up so y'all can see me. Okay, so you can hear me? Okay, awesome. You said there's a lag on it? Okay, well, that's okay. That's okay. We, we, I can work with the lag. All right, so... All right, so I am going to be cooking today a little something, something today, a little something, something today. I'm going to go ahead and throw on my apron because, whoop, hold on, there we go, big head. Um, I'm going to throw on my apron right now so that way I can uh, not get myself dirty as I do this. So we're going to be making a chicken pot pie um, today. I got all my stuff laid out, so I'm gonna show y'all what we got going on here. Okay, and now to, look, y'all. I've been like got my index cards and everything ready because sometimes I still have to follow recipes for something like this in particular, actually. So we have out here right now because some stuff is still in the refrigerator or the freezer. So we have some uh some chicken meat. I actually had. Let me show y'all what I had. So I had this time right here and I had this left over. So I used both of these to go ahead and chop up, shred up or whatever. So that's what's inside of here. Then I have some onions, some uh, celery that I already chopped up. I also have my minced garlic that I chopped up over here, okay? I have my butter out because we're gonna be using that immediately. I have my chicken broth right here. Okay, and then I have my spices, which is side of here, right here. So I have everything laid out ready to go. Hey, tea. So I have parsley, some thyme, uh, salt, and pepper right inside of here. Um, in the refrigerator, I have my uh, heavy cream, and then in the freezer, I have my frozen vegetables. Okay, because we don't we want to make sure those are still frozen. When we um, I didn't want to put the unthaw basically while I was doing all this while I was prepping. Okay. So again, chicken pot pie, my oh duh, the, and the crust <laughs> in the refrigerator, which I can get that out right now. Let me grab that. And since we're about to go ahead and get started, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out. So I have my heavy whipped cream. I have the pie crust right here, and I guess I can take out the frozen. Um, and the frozen vegetables, right? So there we go. The next vegetables right here. Now, I know some people don't like corn or green beans in their chicken pot pie. I'm putting it in today, okay? It's, it's, it's going in. We're going to get all our vegetable intake today, all right? So we have all of that, all right? So I am actually, since I'm not monetized yet, I don't have, well, I don't have my thousand subscribers. So if you join me now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? So since I don't have my... Uh, Subscribers up yet. I have to use my laptop to record, but I have my webcam. So I think I might have to bring it over so you all can actually check everything out. Yeah, let's 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 do that. So let's go ahead and move you all over here so that you all can see what's going on. All right. So all right. I'm gonna go ahead and angle y'all down so y'all can see. Let's see, can y'all see? I think y'all can see. I'll make sure y'all can see. Give me a second. I'm gonna plug this back in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Okay, this is gonna be so fast. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be so, so fast. Just, just, just watch. All right, so we got the butter. I'm gonna go ahead and get this going, okay? I actually am going to call one of my helpers over here real quick because I did re realize I messed up something. I don't have the flour ready. Can y'all come pour me some flour, please? Huh? Come pour me some flour. I need, a half, I need a third cup of flour. All right, so let's go ahead and get this butter inside of here. And y'all still can't see that. So let me see if I can angle this a little bit more. I don't know. We got to just follow along with me. Okay, <laughs> so the butter is in there. 
All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and get these vegetables sauteed up. All right, let me see what's going on. Thank you so much for coming over, Alicia. Thank you. Yes, it's nice to have helpers. <laughs> T, you're at Walmart right now. Yeah, this is like, uh, I tell people, like, basically, this is stuff um, I consider pantry items. So it's something that, that way you can come, you know, just get in the kitchen and cook up something real quick. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. All right, so I got the butter in there. I'm going to go ahead and dump in these vegetables. Get those in there. Okay. So those can get sauteed up. And once these get sauteed up a little bit, then I'll add in, like, you know, the uh, garlic and everything like that. So, yeah. And y'all come on over here. Make sure y'all, um, you know, comment, like, Subscribe, hit that bell, help your girl out, help her reach that 1K before the end of this year. I have been actually participating in Vlogtober. So with Vlogtober, hold on, let me just put on y'all. Hold on, hold on. I don't like how this is. Is it showing? It's still ain't gonna show. I don't know y'all, but bear with me. So I have been doing Vlogtober and let me tell y'all, whoo, it ain't easy, y'all. It ain't easy. Let's sit right here for me. Thank you. So I have been doing Vlogtober. If you've been checking that out, then you've seen, you know, a lot more of my family get involved. I've been doing some stuff that I normally do not do. It hasn't been a lot of cooking <laughs> at all. But, hey, you know, I wanted to get in here and show y'all a little bit more of my life with my kids, my husband, all that good stuff. So, all right. This right here is sauteing down. I'll show y'all. Like, See, there you go. So y'all see it's starting to saute. You guys can hear the little sizzle in there. Can y'all hear the little sizzle? Can y'all hear it? Okay. I know it's like really early. So like right now it is going on one o'clock here in California. So one, two, three, so about four o'clock on the East Coast. Yeah, I know it's really early, but I want to get this done early so I can go relax and do some other things. Because, you know, if y'all don't know, I do have a business, which is um, Pinch of Soul Cooking. Same thing as my YouTube channel. It's called Pinch of Soul Cooking. That is my actual business where I help busy moms create some fantastic meals, trying to basically reclaim their time, not stay in the kitchen all day and still put out a fabulous meal for their family. So that's what I do. I do have a cooking club that you can join that's in the description box if you want to check that out. <laughs> it's only $17 a month. All right, so that's time to go. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in my um, garlic that I actually messed up myself this time. Okay, I know sometimes I show y'all, but like, I ain't got time for that. But today I just feel like, you know, doing the whole thing, okay? And from there, we're going to also add in our seasonings, okay? I'm going to go ahead and dump that in there and let that start to mesh together, I would say. Oh, it smells good, y'all. It smells good. It smells good. smells good. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all can see. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeedy. So a pot pie, I love because... It's very comfort food for this time of season. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't used to make these, like, at all. I used to just buy them. And then my daughter's like, Mom, can you make a chicken pot pie? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so here we go. Chicken pot pie. I should make cookie in this kitchen and help since she wants it so bad. All right. What's on y'all? So what's on y'all? What y'all cooking tonight? What's on y'all menu? I know it's Taco Tuesday. So I know a lot of y'all probably eating tacos today. Celebrating that Taco Tuesday. We just had tacos not too long ago. I'm tired of tacos. <laughs> so I didn't want no tacos. So we're doing this chicken pie pie. You know, that's just how it happens. All right. Let's see. We got your flour over here. Let me get, I'm going to bring start bringing everything over that we need. So we need the chicken broth. We're going to need this flour. I like to still keep my butter closed just in case I need to add a little bit more. And then we're going to need our heavy cream. Let me get my measurements for that. Okay. 
You can absolutely use chicken or the what's that? The condensed cream cream chicken soup, whatever that is. Yeah, you can actually use that as well. That really does help too. All right, it gives it some more extra flavor, by the way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dump in uh, this flour. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is just mix this up until we kind of like don't have any flour left, okay? So that's that's what I'm supposed to be trying to do here, okay? But I'm gonna actually add in a little bit more uh, of the butter. Like I said, I like to have my butter around, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get that mix up. The flour is gonna help when we add in, like you know, the liquids for it to thicken up, right? So I got the butter going back in there. So, like the flour is basically almost gone, I meaning it's coated everything, so it don't have any like chunks of it on in here. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so y'all, I like to sing and I can't sing, but I like to sing when I'm cooking sometimes. I think singing to your food is a uh, therapeutic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so that is good to go. Okay. All right, so I'm about to add in, whew, add in these um, milk. Okay. Well, actually, we're gonna do heavy cream. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out about a half a cup to start off with, and we'll see where that takes us. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get that in there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's getting thick already. Oh my goodness. Let me show y'all, look at that. It's starting to get thick already. Oh yeah. Thickalicious, thickalicious. Uh-huh. What y'all having for dinner? Let me know, what y'all having for dinner? Okay, so all this is well mixed. We're gonna go ahead and get ready to add in our vegetables. Okay, so I want y'all to see. Y'all see that? See, all right, all mixed in. So we're gonna add our vegetables in here. And that's okay, you can use the same cup like this if you wanna measure it out. It should be about a good three cups. That's two. Yep. There we go. All right. Got that in there. All right. Let's get that all mixed in and cooked up. Lots of carrots in here, y'all. Lots of carrots. You can see all the peas, corn, the green beans. So this is like an all-in-one meal. When you do something like this, you give me a vegetable intake. You know what I'm saying? So yes, 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 yes. You still here, Alicia? TT still here? I, I don't know who that other person is, but thank y'all. Go ahead and give that, you know, that thumbs up. <laughs> Oh, yes, indeedy. This is looking amazing, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook a little bit. While I chit chat with y'all. Okay, just so the vegetables can start to unthaw a little bit. So how's everything going? How's life going? Treating you? I wanna know. Talk to me, talk to me. That's what I said, cook and chat, cook and chat. Um, you need to make this. Yeah, you should really try this. You should. I already know you can get down in the kitchen, girl. I already know. <laughs> Definitely know. I'm going to get this chicken over here so we can have the chicken ready to go. 
All right. Got that going. This is looking amazing, y'all. This is really looking good. Okay. And for this, you want to use cooked chicken, okay? You don't want to use raw chicken, all right? Don't, don't, don't do that. So let's go ahead and get this chicken in there. All right. And get all this stirred up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in my broth. All right, so we've got the broth in there. And all we want to do is just let this cook for about maybe seven or eight minutes just to get everything, kind of you know, get all your flavors together, make sure everything is mixed well. Okay, so we just want this to thicken up a little bit. And again, like I said, you want every all your flavors to kind of mix in together. And I showed you at the beginning, now you might have wasn't on at the beginning, but I had some uh, leftover rotisserie chicken that I used for a different recipe. And then um, I had also, let me just show you. I had some of this right here as well, because I was being lazy and I didn't want to cook the chicken myself, to be honest with you. So I used this, so I have the chicken breast here and then that rotisserie chicken I had left over was the legs and the thighs and everything else around it, not the breast of the chicken. So I took all of that off and I just chopped everything up. So that's what we have right here. That's the, that's the chicken that I just added in. Okay, so. Now look at this y'all, look, look at that. Tell me they don't look good. Tell me they don't look good, y'all. All right, so while this is doing that, we're gonna move over to the other side and get ready for, I'm gonna put it on low, okay? So while this is cooking, and I'm gonna actually add in just a little bit more um, broth. All right, I'm gonna add in a half a cup of broth. I'm gonna measure that out because this is going. I gotta change my measurements on my uh, card. All right, add that in. Okay. And so that right there is gonna help it. I'm gonna cook that down a little bit because I want it to cook for a little while longer. And you gotta taste it, right? To make sure everything's good. I'm not gonna take none of the vegetables. I just want some of the juices and stuff. Boom! <laughs> Sound like emerald. Bam! Okay. Oh yeah. So we're gonna let that go. And I'm going to move y'all all over to the other side. So bear with me as I move over. All right. All right. Okay, let me see. What kind of juice are you making? You making something that's like homemade juice or something? Like fresh juice? Like squeeze fresh juice? Let me know. Let me know. All right. So I'm going to put y'all right here so y'all can see what's going on here. So I have out my um, pan here, my uh, pie dish. I'm going to go ahead and get a little oil. Okay. A little bit of oil. And we're going to work that in. While I still have to keep watching this, the stir so we don't burn anything. I heard a sizzling over here. You know what? I'm going to actually go ahead and turn it off because it's looking real good. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and let that cool off in this right here. Take your little paper towel and kind of just go work it in. Okay? We don't want this to stick. Okay. People say you can use your spray 
you know, I should use it sometimes like a cooking spray, but sometimes I just don't want all the extraness inside of the spray on the food. Okay. So there we go. All right. So that part is done. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Hey, Puff, can you turn on this oven for me at 420? Puff Dizzle? Puff Dizzle. <laughs> can you hear me, y'all? <laughs> can you turn this on for me? 420 degrees, please. 420. Yep, 420. All right, so we're going to use them both of these, all right? So, of course, one goes in the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and get this out. To the problem here, it's already done. It's okay. Work over here, work over here. All right. Okay. So carefully unravel this. Uh oh, I'm breaking it. I said carefully. <laughs> The juicer. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Puff, call her. Huh? Call her. Lizzie. All right, y'all. So we have this here. I'm going to smooth it out at the bottom. Okay. You can actually roll this out to make this bigger. That does help sometimes. Okay. All right, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and crack this egg and I didn't bring it myself. I use this. I use this. <laughs> I didn't have a, uh, anything to put the shell in. So I'm gonna crack this egg real quick. All right. And then what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of water in here. All right, for egg wash, okay. Like, that was my hands off too. Though. That was my hands off. But I go ahead and clean about a tablespoon. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna do an egg wash at the bottom of this because what I did was I added in a tablespoon of water. Okay. Now the egg wash, it helps. Sorry, if that's bothering your ear. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But this helps um, so that this doesn't get soggy from the liquid from the um, mixture that we just made. Plus it's gonna help on the top for like a golden finish, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and add in, do our little wash here. So you can see, I'm just gonna, yeah. Okay. If you are allergic to egg, please don't do this, obviously. So that's not good for you, okay? And the water helps so that it doesn't like scramble the egg, per se. Okay, so we're just gonna put that all around here. Just like so. So that was a good tip if you didn't know that. <laughs> put a little water in it. I learned that from culinary school. <laughs> All right, so we got that in there. Now we're ready to go ahead and add in our mixture. Okay, so I'll try to see that. Woo! Mm-hmm. And this smells so good, y'all. So good. All right. Let's just do it like this. I think I dropped some onto the floor. That's all right, we'll clean it up. Okay, we're just gonna press that down. Okay. Woo. Hey, Taja, how you doing? Thanks for popping in. I appreciate you. Okay, so 
Forget that. Got a little bit more. If it all don't fit in here, we'll just save it for another time. Well, not save it, but eat it off to the side or something. Put something. Trying to get it all in here, though. Trying to get it all in. All right. Got it all in there, y'all. Y'all liking it so far? Look. Y'all see it? Looks good. Yeah. All right. Let me move this stuff this way because I am going to roll this out a little bit. So I got another thing out right there. All right. So now we're going to do the fish. Carefully again. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Let's see if I can do this. It's tearing on me. There we go. All right. So I'm going to roll this out a little bit. Okay. Uh -uh. So. My dog wants to come over. I'm like, no, <laughs> no. Okay, so we're gonna just roll this out a little bit just because I want it to come out a little bit more over this. So I'm just gonna roll this out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place this on top. Okay, just like this. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut off these edges. And I kinda wanna pinch these down. I'm not a baker, y'all, so I don't know all that. You know, the pinching part, I'm just like, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna close it. <laughs> Because I don't bake. I don't know how to do all that stuff. That's not my claim to fame. <laughs> Y'all hear me say that all the time. Baking is not my claim to fame. I know you can pinch it like this, though. Like, pinch it in like that. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm going to take this. I don't know why I needed that knife, y'all. Just take it around the edge like this. Then I can use that for peach cobbler. Okay, just want to make sure I'm, I'm pinching inside just like this. I know y'all probably can't see. Hold on. There we go. It's not going to be the prettiest thing, but you know. Oh, well. Take some of that off again. Put that just like this. I should, I guess I should have did that a little bit tighter. All right, pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> this is so funny. I told y'all we come on live. Anything can happen. The girl over here is not a baker, but she's doing a little something, something with this. Oh yeah, I'm making peach cobbler with all this extraness. Oh yeah, I got another one inside the refrigerator. It's gonna be good for uh, a peach cobbler. Oh, come on, come back here. There we go. Pinch some things in there together. There we go. This one trying to, this little piece of here trying to hide from me. I'm pinching together though. All right. It's not the prettiest, but it's the, it's not the prettiest, but it's the, I, I love the, thank you. <laughs> okay. Take this and we're gonna basically punch some holes in here so we can breathe, right? So we can vent while it's cooking. Okay. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over this again with our egg wash. And that's gonna help give it that pretty Golden brown color. Oh, 
And that because I put the water in there, it's going to help it to not to like scramble or anything too. So that's the good part about that. Yeah, that part looks crazy, but you know what? We are gonna work with it. I, I'm, I'm gonna practice that pinching thing, y'all. I'm gonna practice that. Cause I don't like how this is looking. I don't like it one bit. Okay. So that should do it. And now we're gonna go ahead and put this into the oven and let it cook for 30 minutes. I got a can out for it to sit it on. I have made a mess in my kitchen, but that's okay. All right, so this right here, give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the oven. That's my that's my pie, y'all. That's my pie. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this in the oven real quick. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm going to put it in the oven. Oh. For 30 minutes. Okay, I had a cord there. All right, so let me bring y'all up. Thank y'all so much for, for hanging out with me, though. That was that. Woo. Woo. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> but I wanted to try this online with you all. Thank you so much for hanging out, though. So we just did a crock pot. No, I said crock pot. A chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. So, yes. So now I can sit here and chit chat with y'all for a quick, lovely minute or so. And what I'm going to do is, I don't know how I'm going to put, I might just have to put this into my next vlog for like tomorrow. I'll just include like a shot of it, but this is what it was. This is how I looked. And ten, then I'll tell y'all what the kids thought about, how they liked it or not. We'll see because not all my kids like vegetables, but whatever. So um, thank you, Alicia. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And yeah, I mean, you could also make your own um, crust as well. I've seen some people, they use a puff pastry as well on that um, to make their chicken pot pie. I have never used that before, but I know that you can. I might try that one day. But so real quick, have y'all been checking out your girl Blocktober's? I don't blog, but I was like, I wanted to try the Blocktober because I really want to do the bloggers and this is basically preparing me for the vlogmas, seeing if I can do this actually every single day. And the thing about it is, y'all know I don't vlog, right? So basically what I said was, I'm just going to do it my own way. This was just to make me be consistent onto YouTube every single day. So like this right here, I, I said, instead of me calling it a vlogmas, I mean a vlogtober, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and call this like a streamtober or something. I'm going to add something in different because I know um, I've been just uploading videos every day for how many days for, for 12 days. So I think I've been doing good. Some of them were really short. Like I did one that was like maybe over three minutes, like about three minutes and a few seconds or whatever. That was uh, my trip to, um, where did we go that day y'all? Where did we go? Oh, to the bookstore, Barnes and Noble. So like that one. And then I did one for, I got, um, what's the thing that came in? I got the, Butcher box that came in. So that was like an unboxing. So that was maybe like five minutes or so. So I was just trying to like, for real, for real, those was not on my schedule. I asked not, not on my list. I have a list of stuff to be doing, but those things like the unboxing, that was not on it whatsoever. The Hello, Hello Fresh, that was not on it. But I went on here and took those. That's why you see me, sometimes you see the same shirt for like three days because I broke everything up. Like I have so much though, y'all, that I did not show. I thought about doing like a blooper, like a whole blooper for <laughs> October of the stuff that I did not put into it. Like my husband's birthday. Yeah, my husband, um, um, look, look, y'all, we from Chicago and we cuss a lot. <laughs> We're both just sailors and everything. But I've been doing good on here, y'all. But yeah, so a lot of stuff I couldn't put. Onto it, so that's why some of the stuff is like 
that's all y'all going that's all y'all did today yeah because i couldn't put all that stuff in there so but i do have a lot more stuff coming up because we're only on day 13 and there's 31 days so i do have my son's birthday is coming up so we're gonna do some snippets of that um i'm gonna talk about a few things like as far as my scary moments in life scary movies things that my sister one thing my sister did to me y'all i'm gonna tell y'all about that it's it's funny now, but it wasn't funny then, and I don't, I didn't appreciate it. So we got, <laughs> let's talk to y'all about that. Um, just talk, it's just different stuff, you know, like favorite pumpkin or favorite memories. I'm hoping that pumpkin patch is open out here so we can do a day at the pumpkin patch as well. Um, well, thank you, thank you, Alicia. I, girl, I'm trying. I am really trying. Y'all know it's hard in, on these YouTube streets, but so that's another another one that we're gonna be doing. Um, so yeah, it's just a few things I got planned and I've been doing a lot of stuff also with, if you haven't, if you don't follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, then you're not going to know, but I have been doing a lot of cooking because I have a cooking club as well. That's $17 a month, by the way, you can check that out. Um, where I actually give them none of the meals that I put on face me on YouTube is inside of this cooking club. So they're getting specials. Like it's crock pot meals. It's Fresh food uh, meals is 30 minute, you know, like 30 minute meals. Um, I'm going to be doing some air fry meals, casseroles, uh, sheet pan meals. Cat, did I say casseroles? I might say casseroles already, but they're getting um, a lot of different meals that I don't, like I said, that I don't put on YouTube. So they get those exclusively for just them. And we also talk about ways to, you know, um, like I give them also what's the word I'm looking for? Tips and ways to get stuff done easily, quickly and stuff like that. So if you want to check out the cooking club, like I said, it's only $17 a month. All right. So you can come in and check it out for, you know what I'm saying? Give it, a, give it a try for a month and see if you actually like it. If you don't know hard feelings, then you can just exit, right? You don't have to worry about the next, you can stop before, you know, that month. But I would advise you to go ahead and download your favorite recipes. Okay. Um, so that's what that is over there. I'm trying to also build out my website, pinchasoulcooking.com. Is you can go check it out right now. It's still in work, but there is like I think two things on there, y'all. Yeah, I'm trying to include YouTube onto my website so that people that visit my website they can come straight over here to YouTube and see all of the recipes I did before Blocktober because I do have a lot of recipes that I did do on here. Don't y'all worry though. I'm still gonna be doing recipes. Don't, don't worry. I'm still going to be coming here. It's just not going to be the ones that I share with my cooking club. So um, I think I got all the questions. There is no question actually, but just conversation. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for conversating with me, Alicia. I greatly appreciate that. Taisha, thank you so much to Boo. TT, thank you so much. My daughter, thank you so much because she's, <laughs> she's logged in as well. Okay. So again, um, the chicken pot pie has a little over 20 minutes left and I'm not going to keep y'all on here that long. <laughs> Don't forget to like this, please. Thank you so much. Hit that, 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 hit that thumbs up for me. Cause I see two thumbs up. I see two thumbs up. I see only two and I see four people on here. So make sure you hit that button. Um, and yes, if you could tell me what is the best time for you, what's, what's the best time for you to be on YouTube? So that way, I want to try to structure this around because I will be doing a, a few more cook with me's and I would love to be able to do it when you all are available. Like I said, I know right now it's early because people are still at work. Um, so I might start doing this more on Saturday, but I have something else to do this Saturday. So that's why I was like, let me do this today. Um, and it, it also fills my slot for October, day 13. <laughs> all right. So again, Thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, if you're uh, new, welcome. If you're one of my old uh, subbies, thank you again for hanging out with your girl. I hope um, you enjoyed this video. Again, I will be coming back on doing more videos. Um, I want to start uploading um, like on the community tab. I might start just putting like, go get these ingredients. We're going to cook on this day. However, a lot of this stuff is usually what I'm trying to do is going to be stuff that's actually inside of your pantry. So it'd be kind of like easier for you to actually just grab and come on, on and make and cook with me. I would love to have you uh, side by side with me on. You can do like a um, not Zoom, but StreamYard. 
like I did before with my girl T when she was on here. We was like side by side cooking together. I would love to do more of those as well. So, yeah, let me know. OK, give me some um, suggestions or give me some recommendations of things that you would like to see. I'll do my best to incorporate those as well. And that's about all. Y'all know fall is here. Winter time is coming. Lots of baking going on. And I'm not a baker, but I'm going to get in here and make it do what it do as well. Okay. So we can do that together. All right. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all later. See you all in the pinch. You have a great Tuesday. Bye now.